You know, the effects of chronic insomnia can actually be severe, impacting how well someone can function during the day and increasing the risk for major depression. But new research shows that a psychological treatment called cognitive behavioral therapy may help insomnia suffer sleep more soundly at night. Haley Weldon explains in this week's Journal of the American Medical Association report. Having lived with chronic insomnia for over 10 years, Sylvia Bort came to dread nightfall. I became very frantic because I was thinking, well, right away, wow, like night is coming again and I will uh, see the ceiling for three or four hours. And the impact of chronic insomnia is that it, it reduces quality of life, uh, it impairs daytime functioning, but beyond that, uh, chronic insomnia is a risk factor for major depression. The lack of proven long-term treatments for insomnia led Dr. Charles Morin of University Laval in Quebec to lead a study exploring the impact that a psychological treatment called cognitive behavioral therapy used alone and in combination with medication could have on a group of 160 patients with chronic insomnia. Cognitive behavioral therapy, or CBT in short, is a, a therapeutic approach aimed at changing poor sleep habits and irregular sleep schedules, and also changing the way people think about their sleep and their insomnia. Participants were taught to avoid unrealistic sleep expectations, restrict their time in bed, and get up at the same time daily. Changes in their sleep habits were measured with periodic sleep lab assessments, as well as self-reported sleep diaries. Featured this week in JAMA, the Journal of the American Medical Association, the study found that the best results were achieved with a combined approach, CBT and medication during the initial six-week treatment phase, followed by CBT alone in the extended six-month treatment phase. If you continue with medication, then people are less likely to invest time and efforts uh, in changing their sleep habits. Now a former insomnia patient, Sylvia Bork still relies on CBT methods if she happens to wake up at night. I will uh, do exactly what Dr. Morin sa said to me, to get up, to do an activity like reading or listening to soft music that will uh, lead me to go back to sleep. And uh, it does work. Haley Weldon, The JAMA Report.